Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Roberto, and I'm honored to talk on behalf of my team, Innovare, whose aim is to continuously improve human habits within smart cities. Uh, the challenge we worked on has been proposed by the Italian Ministry of the Economic Development and is related, related to CO2 reduction and air quality improvement in urban areas. Well, as you have heard from my colleagues before, we are 7.6 billion of human lives in the earth and 58% of us is living in urban areas. And we all know that all the cities around the world are everyday victims of traffic jams, industrial manufacturing, and all the pollution generated by the burning of fossil fuels. And this means that all these people here, 4.3 billion people, have one common threat, air pollution. And air pollution generates like 400,000 victims every year in Europe. That is more or less half of the population of a city like Turin. And although many people declare to be interested in the topic, only 3% of them are properly informed about air quality and its impact on our daily life. Therefore, our mission at Innovare is to bring the problem from a global scale to a local and personal dimension, providing citizens with useful and meaningful information to help them feeling in touch with the problem and taking everyday decisions towards environmental sustainability. And in the short term, this will be done thanks to our interactive touchscreen totem, which will provide real-time data about local air quality and traffic, thanks to embedded sensing technology, and will also provide information related to sustainable urban mobility. So the user could navigate the screen to get informed about the air quality and the traffic in different spots around the city, and also about the availability of different transport means and the related environmental footprint. And in the mid-long term, we are going to develop a wider Internet of Things um, platform in which we also uh, will have a mobile application which will be devoted to build up a green community to put together the local administrations, the citizens and the companies who provide products or services related to the reduction of um, pollution. And moreover, we will also develop an API platform for third parts who can be interested in having access in raw or elaborated data. So definitely, Innovare is built on five main pillars. The first one is people engagement to air pollution issues, which will be obtained thanks to a distributed data collection by implementing a low-cost uh, advanced technology. And all this will bring to an improvement of the problem prediction ability thanks to the high spatial resolution of our data acquisitions and all this will open new markets and increase existing ones. And for example, we expect a possible increase in the market of public transportation by 25% in five years from now. And definitely we see our totem as a part of the urban context in smart city. And therefore we analyzed this market with, that is $1.6 trillion worldwide. And we focused on the market of smart infrastructure, which is $200 billion worldwide. And definitely we set Turin as the pilot project area and we analyzed this worth market, which is 900,000 euros. And we also analyzed the market to find out our competitors, focusing on uh, the market of uh, informative totems. And although we found several projects around the world, which also confirms the actuality of this topic, uh, we can still put Innovare at the vertex of this competitor's matrix, thanks to the fact that we are providing highly interactive contents and we are embedding uh, advanced sensing technology. So definitely we defined two different products. The first one is the totem that will be sold to local administrations and we expect a revenue of 350,000 euros in the first year and more than 2 billion of euros in 20 years from now. And the second product are API services that will be sold to third parts and uh, we expect an income of 20,000 euros in the first year from this product. So finally, let me just present our team. We are two um, PhD students and four MBA fellows from different areas of engineering. And finally, I want just to acknowledge GSP, that is our main technological partner, and also uh, CERN KT and Egrizu for some technological advices. And finally, I want to thank all you for your kind attention, and you will be uh, very welcome in the exposition area where you can get in touch with our first prototype. So thank you for your attention.